you know what? We're all together here. So we'll see what's happening and what's what's buzzing here in Utah. Now, Jamie, this actually goes back Yeah, to I, that's my fault. I'm sorry. I was looking <laughs> down and I thought I misread and, and yeah, I, that was my bad. I so thought sorry. the same thing though, so don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah. We'll get there. Yeah, I was we'll, just stopping yeah. going, oops. It, teamwork makes the dream work. Though, it, so we're yeah, okay. we're, yeah, we're going to keep this dream going. So Oscar <laughs> nominations, uh, they dropped this week. This is really cool. And among them is a film that's produced by uh, the Salt Lake Film Society. It's an, uh, an animated shorts category and it's titled 95 Senses. Uh, and so here's a little bit of the trailer. I read a theory somewhere. It might be that we humans have a hundred senses, but we're only aware of the five. Maybe when we pass away, as those five perish, the other ones switch on. That could be the afterlife. Enjoying our 95 other senses. That's a nice thought. That is really cool. So, 95 senses. Uh, it tells the story of a man who is facing his own mortality and reflecting on his youth. Uh, this was done in six different animators, uh, or done by six different animators. Uh, they all had uh, distinct styles. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. And they uh, represented the five senses, uh, with the sixth style depicting the narrator, and that strong accent. Uh, today, <laughs> we talked with Salt Lake Film Society's president and CEO, Tori Baker, and she told us 95 Senses stands out for its story and was completely hand-drawn, which is a rarity nowadays when we're talking about the world of animation. A short film's very special because it's very hard to tell a great story in a short amount of time. And it's also it's also a freedom and an ability to show your style. An exciting thing to realize that this medium of short film is compelling to people and they want to see the best stories made in that medium. At the end of the day, no matter what technology you're using for filmmaking, let alone animation, it really all does come down to an amazing story. And talk about uh, hitting a home run with yeah. this one. This was their first film that they were that they have produced. And we're talking about the Salt Lake Film Society. Uh, and not only was it nominated for an Oscar right now, but it's won Five awards from film down. festivals around the world. So uh, this is really cool. Uh, but it's the it's the the the, the, draw, the country draw that got me in. I said, <laughs> that's, oh, that's what's going to get you to back. show up and watch I'm it. I'm a southerner, and so to hear that, I'm like, oh boy, this is some t yeah. good old storytelling. I mean, right looking here. at it, you can see just the the distinct <laughs> art style. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. really beautiful, and there's six different styles that people get to see. So I think that's and, that's it, and really it'll take people a on a journey. That's the beautiful thing about her about it. Uh, so you heard me that country about her coming out. <laughs> <laughs> the animators all went through the MAST program, and what that is, it's actually Media Accelerator Studio. Mm -hmm. And so the goal is really to help the artists uh, uh, basically turn into artist entrepreneurs, you know, really get into the industry. Okay. Uh, Tori said Utah colleges have, uh, they have really great film programs, uh, but once they graduate, how are they going to break into the industry? So this is an opportunity for them to do that, and that's where MAST comes into play. Uh, you can see 95 senses at the Broadway Theater, and this is going to be on February 16th when SLFS will be showing all of the Oscar nominated shorts. So there you have it, y'all. Yeah, you're talking about mass helping people break into the industry. Yeah. Way to break in with an Oscar nominated short right yeah, off I mean, the bat. The only person that I can recall that, at least in recent years, that it was their first time mm -hmm. doing something and they ended up winning an Oscar was the editor for, what's the name of that movie? Everything Everywhere All Everything, at Once? Everything Everywhere All at Once. Yes. That's right. The editor for for that film, he went and he he accepted his award, his Academy Award. And he said, "Wow, yeah, and this is the first time I've ever done this." <laughs> Everybody in the audience off. was like, <gasps> "You know," yeah. so it just comes to show: if you give it a try, you just never know how high you'll fly. All right. So speaking of films, breaking.